I felt like a different person because I hadn't had that feeling of, of that way at all. And you were saying how his personality, t right. t tell the story about his personality. I think yeah. that's amazing yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Steve, um, uh, one of the things that happens with Alzheimer's is the personality just uh, slowly evaporates. And the person that you know as your husband or your mother or your father um, just kind of slowly disappears. Um, they start to appear, you know, seem lost. Uh, conversation disappears. The animation in the face disappears. Um, and um, I was feeling a lot more like Steve's uh, evil stepmother than his wife <laughs> in uh, the winter of 2008, you know, before this happened. Um, I had to make him take his medication. I had to make him eat. And uh, he wasn't happy about that. Um, you know, we couldn't bounce things off each other like we used to, um, talking about things. And um, when we continued the coconut oil, you know, the, I decided we're going to keep this going. By about the fourth or fifth day, what we saw was a huge difference in um, Steve's personality in the morning. He had been very confused, very lost, extremely slow, uh, couldn't find a utensil to eat, uh, couldn't get water. And what we saw, he would come bouncing out of the bedroom, alert, talkative, making jokes, smiling, laughing. And I thought, oh my gosh, my Steve is back. You know, his personality came back. And about the fifth day, I remember, you know, sitting at the kitchen table and we looked at each other and we said, oh my gosh, our life has changed. <laughs> Wonderful. Our life has Wonderful. changed and we're going to keep this going. And, um, Wonderful. And, so, you've, and you've been able to go back, you now... Uh, mow the lawn, do the gardens, oh, and, yeah. and, and, yeah. and a lot of things. And, you, and the reading has started to come back too, yeah. right? Yeah. So you read a little now, yeah. but not, not the novels you used to. But you, 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 you said you were, uh, read a, a book on the 36 steps. 36 hour day. The 36 hour day. It's a classic Alzheimer's. book about Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease. Right. right. Yeah. 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 And it gave you some laughs. Oh, God. It was just, uh, how in the world did that happen so fast, you know? And I haven't stopped it. I feel like a thousand years, and two years ago, oh, I was, I was terrified. And now it's, I've got my life back. Yeah. And, you know, and if you say, there's no miracle in this thing, God made this stuff, and to make him could be able to uh, get that those those people to be able to get the people that we need to get. There will be a whole a whole lot of people. Can help a lot of people. A whole, a whole lot of people. Mm. And you know, and people have been holding it back or just didn't know about it. I didn't know. I think that's yeah. it's it's mm. yeah. It's, 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 it's news, it's still news. And it takes a long time for the word to get around, which is yeah. why we want to make this video and, and put it where people can read it. And let's, let's hope you get a lot more interviews too and, right. and, uh, and get even further uh, information about it. But you, you also, uh, you're also very interested in Dr. Veach's work. Perhaps you could tell us a bit about that. Um, yes, um, as uh, I was researching, all of this with the ketones, um, I happened to come across his name in Wikipedia, <laughs> uh, Dr. Richard Veach, uh, that he um, was an expert in the area of ketones. And he happens to be at the NIH uh, for many years in Rockville, Maryland, near Washington, D.C. And he has been um, interested in ketones since uh, actually the 1990s um, that he's been researching this. And he's published several um, articles, and others have too, about uh, the therapeutic implications of ketone bodies. Um, there are uh, many other diseases uh, that have a similar problem of glucose uptake in the brain. Um, the list includes Parkinson's disease, Huntington's chorea, uh, multiple sclerosis, um, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which they've been looking for a cure for, me and, and all of these diseases for many, many years, even type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Um, it's not just the brain, but other organs in the body that are affected, you know, with a problem of glucose uptake and insulin resistance right. that ketones can potentially help. Traumatic brain injury is another um, very major thing affecting our soldiers and, and many right. people, Such you know, and auto accidents, yeah. you know, things like that um, that could benefit from uh, the ketones. Um, premature babies. Yeah, premature they're, babies. They're already getting it in one form, but that right. more specific might help. 
Yeah. And what about plain old memory? Yeah, just plain old memory um, for prevention, for prevention. Uh, this process does start happening at least 10 or 20 years, maybe longer, you know, before you start seeing symptoms. So, yes. you know, potentially you can help keep these cells um, alive and functioning. Um, and, yes. and perhaps in many people, it will prevent a disease. Um, so you think that in countries where they eat a lot of coconut oil, they, they're going to have less Alzheimer's mm -hmm. develop? Yeah, there's less of these diseases. Mm -hmm. There's actually a study um, in India from India. They yes. looked at an area of India where coconut is used very predominantly. Coconut oil, coconut milk. Mm. Um, they eat a lot of curry there, mm. um, that type of thing. And um, they looked at the types of dementia. And in this country, Alzheimer's is far and away the most common form of dementia. Um, in that country, it's two percent of their dementia is Alzheimer's disease. Really? In that right? Only in that 2%. part of India, only two percent. I see. I thought that was most interesting. Um, and uh, Alzheimer's is very uncommon in the Philippines, for example, where um, uh, they're one of the largest producers of coconut oil. And consumers. And consumers. Right. They have low rates of cardiovascular disease in, yes. in that country as well. Yes. We actually get our coconut oil from, from the Fiji Islands. Ah, mm. yes. Ah. Um, so uh, back to Dr. Veach, um, I started calling him. I had a million questions. I didn't really even tell him at first what I was doing with Steve. <laughs> but I had a lot of questions about coconut oil and medium chain triglycerides and ketones um, and about this product that was going to be coming out. We discussed that. And um, he was very kind. He answered you know, all of my questions. And um, a couple weeks in later, I thought, oh, I need to tell him you know, what I did with my husband and the results that we were getting. Yes. Um, I had Steve, uh, he, a clock, he drew a clock again. And it was amazingly uh, different, improved. It, there was an actual circle, like a clock, and he right. drew spokes, I think, to try to line up right. the numbers. And he had a complete, you know, the numbers were complete all the way around the clock. Great. As you would expect a clock. Um, it's, it's not a beautiful clock, but it was a, a vast improvement from the previous. And this was two weeks later. And was this two weeks after? This the, was two weeks two, after, after we started the coconut oil. Oh, really? Already. So gone from an unrecognizable object to a, to a clock. An actual in, clock that in, somebody in would look at and weeks. say, okay, that, that's, a, that's clock. a clock. Right. Uh, so I told Dr. Beach about what I had done, about how I felt he had improved so dramatically, yes. and his clock drawing. And Dr. Veach said, can you fax me the clocks? And uh, so I did. I faxed it to him. And he called me back, and he said, wow, this is quite uh, amazing. This right. is quite um, extraordinary. So um, he was uh, very cautious, of course, at first. And he was um, a little surprised that the levels that we could get from medium chain triglycerides uh, would be high enough levels to affect yes. somebody this way. Yes. Um, he, Dr. Veach, is making um, one of the ketone bodies, uh, beta-hydroxybutyrate, mm -hmm. is um, one of the prominent um, ketone bodies. And he is able to synthesize this in his lab. Right. Yeah, um, he's been able to make it for several years now. Um, and uh, he uh, is hoping to study it in humans. He's been testing it in uh, mice so far, and right now he is doing toxicity testing in humans. He uh -huh. has gotten funding to do that. And so far they're going well. So far going saying. very well. Um, yeah. He's getting levels um, in people 10 times higher than what we can possibly get with the oil right. uh, by ingesting the oil so that's something without really any adverse effects. If, right. we, if his ketones became available in the future, that, that might uh, have some another step of improvement. That would be yeah, great. I think there's a good chance that people could improve even more dramatically. And, and, you and know, how long do you think before that's available? Well, uh, if, the, if it, was, if even it moved if, along nicely. If it moved along perfectly, it would probably be at least four years or so yeah. before it would actually come to market after yes. you know studies and getting FDA Proper approval.